as discussed in the previous video in this one we would talk about how we actually put in the circuit that needs to be there for the output block so for that what we would do is we would open up the schematic page that's there under output block so the output circuit page and for each one of these schematic pages the title block which you have needs to be filled out properly so this I will name the title would be say what circuit or rather output circuit that's what I have named it as output circuit then the document number since that was the last one within the tree and uh, we with the hierarchical page we will have a total of four different modules so let us name this as the last one so four and the revision since this is the first revision we just put a one here do remember that every time you make a change to your sheet go ahead and update the revision number so that we know how many times or rather you also have an idea that how many times you had to go through to uh, come up with the proper circuit for a particular module so now within this sheet what we would do is this is that part where five of the outputs which are coming out of the uh, clock generation IC is going to be put on a simple connector so what we would do is we would have to put in a part that's a connector so let's see if we have that part available in the library that's uh, provided to us by ORCAD so we would use this place part and then this would open up now in here since I have imported all of the libraries beforehand I see them all in this list but if you do not see many uh, libraries in this list then what you can simply do is just to be on the safe side use this add library switch it would open up the default folder in which the ORCAD installation stores its uh, pre uh, filled libraries select anyone do a control a so that it selects all and then open it and it would populate the library window and select all of them by default for you if it is not selected all of them are selected just select any one here and then do a control a and all of it would be selected so then what we would do is we would come to this part box and then start typing out connector to see what all different types of connectors we have so if we select this con 9 we see that it's a connector with nine pins so basically we would need one that has five so there is one and then that has got five in there so what we would do is select it and double clicking it puts this in the page and then if we click on anywhere in the page it will place one part if you need to have multiple ones of these you can just keep on pressing and it would auto update the part number and keep on placing the same part again and again so since we are done what we are what we have to do is we have to exit this mode you can do it in two ways you can either hit the escape key or you can do a right click and end mode so I'll do that and then the second one I don't need so I'm going to delete it after selecting it now what do I have to do with the connector so I know that this connector is going to connect to five different uh, inputs coming from the output of the clock generation IC so what I need to provide are two things which we would discuss now since we have a hierarchical block we use ports if we didn't use the hierarchical block page then we would have used the off page connectors because these connections are going to come from a design that's on a separate page so since we are using a hierarchical block then we would be using ports which are introduced using this symbol over here so we will place a port and in this particular case the things that come out of the clock generation IC they are going to be inputs on this page so in this list you can have both sided ports which are bi-directional then you can have uh, simple ports which are outputs or you can have uh, things like this and uh, so we would use this the port right so since this is coming in the tip of the arrow indicates which direction it is from so wherever that square is this little square is that is your direction so since it is on the tip this means that the signal is coming in so we would change the names here 
So we would name it according to the outputs that come out of that particular clock generation IC 8284. So what we would do is name them so that we can understand. So they are 8284's P clock, then 8284's clock, then 8284's ready, then 8284's uh, oscillator output and then 8284's reset output. So they come in and what we do is we then simply use the wire connect. This is the place wire and then connect this through to the connector. So that's it. That's the circuit that we would do for now using the connector. We will save it and the next thing that we would do is go to the ECS2200 which is the oscillator circuit and do that. So on to the next one.